you guys have any uh, uh, female artists that you listen to? For that sure. You like, like you like the songs? Two or three. Yeah, I could do a little bit of um, Madonna. <laughs> Madonna. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. For sure. You sing. You sing. You sing songs like when you're listening to somebody's song. You sing them. Yeah. 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 So you're singing one of these female artist songs and she's talking about like I'm a girl or something. <laughs> Do you change the lyrics or you just sing that? Like uh Yeah, brushing my hair back and forth or something like that. I mean I guess you that What's that Gwen Stefani? I'm just a girl or what? <laughs> That's it, I'm just a girl, right? Something like that. I'm not too sure. Do you know there's guys out there singing that song, right? And, yeah, and it's me at the at the red light right there. Like, my humps. My humps. <laughs> no, yeah, you know what? I, I don't I don't really change them or think about it. I'll just sing the song. It's a, yeah, it's a song, yeah. right? Like, I'm a Barbie boy. <laughs> right? I'm a Barbie boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new hit. <clears throat> yeah, but even like if I've covered songs like that. It's a female vocalist. And yeah, I guess like the lyrics are from the point of view of a female, like clearly. And yeah, I won't change them. I'll just sing them like that. I think it'd be kind of weird to change them. Almost like, not that I'm censoring it, but it, yeah, it's just weird. Like the art is the way it is. I'm not going to change it. How about if the lyrics are like, me and my man are cuddling by the fireplace. <laughs> oh, I sing it even louder. <laughs> <laughs> it's the part that it really, the tears come out. Yeah, I think all the female artists that I listen to don't sing songs like that. They don't mention anything. Thing that dif- they have to it has to different different I mean just not the ones I listen to but I could see like <laughs> yeah there's different even like um, what you call it there's that new artist Olivia or I don't even know how new she is but she's all popular right now Olivia Rodrigo oh, I love her so much she can't sing for shit but she's so Rodrigo she's so beautiful yeah you like her I like her face oh, she nice. can't sing yeah but yeah all her songs are like you gotta get him back, you know, like all stuff like that. And you're not, you're not in the shower. <laughs> no, how you got to get him back. I was at the mall, and one of the cashiers. Oh man, he was fucking hot singing her songs, like just you gotta get him back. You gotta get him back. Nice. He sucks on your neck like a vampire. Like oh. <laughs> yeah, or even like um. That's another Disney girl, huh? Disney girl? Uh, yeah, she, she, she was like an actress at first. Yeah, yeah. Right. Child actress on the Disney television show Bizarre Aardvark? Bizarre Aardvark? Bizarre Aardvark. Oh, that's right. That's where Jake Paul got famous. <laughs> Bizarre Aardvark? Yeah. Really? Bizarre Aardvark. All right. Yeah, or even like there's like a, a rap group that I like and they're the lead, um, I guess like the de facto leader of the group. Is kind is um well he's openly gay, and when he raps like, he'll rap like machismo style about being gay, kind of like how dudes rap about getting pussy, about getting pussy and getting laid and fucking all the. Did somebody just put he'll, that on the other day? Yeah, was I, was, I think I was playing it. <laughs> I was showing brave. Yeah, because you were singing along like <laughs> all the about lyrics, sucking dick right, all loud. <laughs> no, no one get dick like me. I was freestyling. Like, this song doesn't even have lyrics, and freestyling like gay. <laughs> No, yeah, he'll he'll openly brag about like fucking celebrity guys and like stuff like that. And that's funny. Which is kind of cool. He just goes all into it, like ah, that's, that's cool. But, well, yeah, you like sing it, and you rapping sing it. about his oh, life. Sing, yeah. Talking As you're it. singing, you start getting a chubby. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe. You said you like who? Frank Ocean. Yeah, Frank Ocean. Yeah, he's gay, like openly gay, and yeah, a couple of his songs like. One of them's like, met this dude at the bar and you take him home or something like that. And I think it's even that same song and he's like... And you see it all out. I don't know. I've heard you. Yeah, I've heard you like <laughs> combing your hair about meeting a guy at the bar. Because that part, he really does like sing it. So it's kind of like hard he to sing along know, with right? it. He lets you know, right? He lets... The passion. But yeah, I, I think I've mumbled. Nice. Did it like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, or is that like when you do the like, clearing your throat part? Like, a <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> or you gotta. <laughs> How about karaoke? Speech. Would you ever karaoke a song like that? 
Hell like yeah. a Britney Spears or a oh, I would. Britney Gwen Stefani, right? Yeah, I feel like if you're doing karaoke, anything passes. Did you do the dance too, like get into it? <laughs> Sam, the real question is, in rap songs, do you say the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> That's the part where I go <laughs> <laughs> Out here with me in my <coughs> Ride <laughs> Yeah you sing it right It's part of the song <laughs> It's funny yeah like going It's to the concerts. only part I sing <laughs> <laughs> Only part I remember Like going to concerts Like yeah like sometimes like You'll hear people like once that part comes up, they're like all looking around to see who's saying it. Like if you're gonna sing it, then the whole thing stops. Like oh, oh <laughs> that's happened before. The I've whole concert, like, that. Uh, <laughs> like the record, <laughs> <laughs> the artist. Everyone, everyone knows it, it's you. <laughs> no, I saw one once. It was a uh, kick that guy out. Get get that racist. Oh, get that piece of shit out of you. Hate hate hate. <laughs> no, there's a there's a video of Kendrick Lamar performing at some concert, and like he invites someone from the crowd up, whatever, and then he picks, and it's like some young chubby white girl, and she gets on stage, and he's like gives her the mic to like sing the lyrics of this next song, and he plays this next song, and he knows damn well what he's doing because the next song, every line in the first verse ends with the end, like every single one. And she st- it starts off, she goes all hard, and she starts saying it, and she says that first line, and yeah, right away, he's like, whoa, 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 hold on, and the music stops. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. I swear. And then, and then he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, was, uh, I don't know exactly what he says, but he starts making her all weird, and the crowd starts booing at her. racist on At her? No, they're mad at her, and they get her off the, the, they get her off the stage. And she just sang it like... Yeah, she just sang his fucking song that he wrote, that he invited her to sing up there, yeah. He gets mad at her, and the whole crowd kind of like gets all weird too. And yeah, that's funny. Man, yeah, that's I was, I was telling Zach. You know what you're doing. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. When I went to Camp Vlogna like this past time, um, the, in one of Tyler the Creator's songs, he says the N word, but with the hard R, and like it's like a boom, like he just says it all, like out of nowhere, you know. But it's not like in the middle of a verse or anything. He just says it, and then um, man, it seemed like everyone was all like. Blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 we're like, that part. It, yeah, <laughs> like we've been holding it on like, like yeah, they've like been five, six months of holding <laughs> it in, right? Goes, <laughs> <laughs> were there people that left after that? Like, oh, I can leave now. I, that's the only reason I came. Was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, they finally said, just like, <laughs> <laughs> the adrenaline of finally getting it off your chest. <laughs> No, but it was funny. Yeah, because it, it sounded louder than the rest of the song. Like, everyone's like... Ugh. I'm telling because that's the, that's the only lyric half the crowd knew. So they're like, yeah, I can finally it, sing along. That's what it ah. like. That's funny. <laughs> but what if, like, you were at a, a Madonna concert and she called you up to sing? Would you sing along with her? Yeah, I would. Hell Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> I remember being at a Stone Temple Pilot, Stone Temple Pilots concert. Oh man, those guys kicked ass. They were badass lives. And it was right when he had clean clean himself up. It was probably like one of the best concerts I've been to. But halfway through the show, they're like, "Oh, we want to bring somebody to play guitar with us. Who? Oh, raise your hand if you can play guitar." So you know, they started. All these kids are raising their hand, and they picked a the guy. Like, all right, come up here. When it's a young kid and he comes up and then he has really bad English, you know, born in a border. We're here in a border city, so, you know, and oh, like really bad. Yeah, it's here. <clears throat> so then the guy starts talking to him and like, oh, they can't even communicate too well because this kid's English is really bad. I didn't even no. know what the question was. <laughs> he must have. Yeah, I don't know. So they right, finally give him, hand, they finally but... give him the guitar and they're telling him the chords to play. And then the kid tells him. He doesn't know how to play guitar. He uh, just yeah, so like he, <laughs> he just had, wanted no to come I, on stage. Yeah. yeah, he had no idea what they said. He just he just said he saw the band say something and he was just like, ah! <laughs> uh, no, I think he uh, didn't know what they said because they give him the guitar and but then I think he just realized like, oh, oh I just shit. wanted to be here. Oh, an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and he kind of ruined it for. Her. Yeah, they just slowed down the whole show, and it just... Yeah, oh. they, did they call someone else up? I don't think they ever came back to El Paso uh, after that. Oh, <laughs> right. If I was, if I was the yeah. pilot, I'd be pissed. Get him out of here. No, I'd, I'd call for, like, public execution. Right. Right? 
burn this guy right now. Get him out of here. Burn him in the parking lot. Oh, that sucks. I've always wanted that, like, to be called up and, like, mean. To play with my favorite band, all beautiful. I mean, if you really want me to go up there with you guys. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then the whole time your friends will be recording it with the phones backwards, right? So not- <laughs> and my friend's forehead and eyes in the crowd behind him. Oh. Yeah, if, you know, my favorite band was up there and they called somebody to come sing or something, like, I would not raise my hand. You would? No? I would. <laughs> no. Sing, I yeah, I but would. I don't know, like, play the drum. Oh, that would be kind of <clears throat> cool. But yeah, like, if they're like, come play guitar, like, I would not, because I don't know how. But if they said sing, like, I think I would go up there. And oh, you'd go sing? Cool. Your heart? Well, like, my favorite band, yeah, or artist, I'd be down. You know all their songs? Nice. For sure. Did you want to get that? I scratch your back. You scratch my cold fusion plus capacitor. I told you, man. Your Christmas gift's coming. It's coming. Christmas was two days ago. <laughs> it's it's we're still in the, it's still the season. It's still the season. <laughs> man, I was telling Xander yesterday. I had a little Christmas miracle happen to me. Or Santa came down my chimney and left something at the bottom for me. Or I don't Sounds know, hot. I don't know what. I, um. Oh, really? She's doing good? Nice. <laughs> That's good to hear. How many chains? Wow. Nice. Sorry, uh, no. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, <laughs> Santa was coming down your chimney? Shoot. Yeah, like literally Santa came down my chimney and left something for me at the bottom. I don't know how to dive into this but um i guess well just yesterday in the morning i stayed over at my girlfriend's house and then in the morning they made pozole and i had some of that what uh pork chicken i think it was chicken but i'm not too sure i'm pretty sure it was pork but i just got the juice and i was dipping the bread but um red huh? <clears throat> red or green red there's a green pozole i've been wanting to make some it sounds good <laughs> but um yeah, and then so I'll. What's your favorite pozole? <laughs> I don't know. Just keep interrupting me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I'll just I'll just pozole talk. Yeah. We should go get some. Actually. We think that Florida might have some. <clears throat> Be nice if they had green too. Oh man, a nice green pozole. You bastard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. So I was driving to my my next family's house, and man, like I started feeling like I had to throw up. But like I don't only in that, so I guess there wasn't much to throw up. So I was just kind of like, eh, like I'm gonna chill. And then just throughout the day, like my stomach kept hurting and hurting. And then I guess after I ate at my mom's house. What'd you eat at your mom's house? Um, I had stuffing, some ham, uh, mashed potatoes, some Hawaiian rolls. I'm trying to think what else. He sent me a picture of the stuffing. He's like, right? <laughs> what'd you say? Yeah, good stuff there. But okay, yeah, and then after you that, eating your face, like no, because he was we were craving thing. stuffing on Thanksgiving, and we made some box stuffing. But I don't know, it was too wet, huh? Well, I didn't make it; he made it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I don't know why it was just too wet. Something like it was. Uh, and it's because I was craving it, you know, and I like it, and it's like yeah, the thing. Like a stove I, top. I, I went and got <clears> it. It was probably defective then, or something. And he was like, "I'm gonna make it for you," and then he just made it all wet. Wet. Like I mean, it still had the same flavor, but yeah, the texture wasn't it. Or thinking it was defective. <laughs> you, did, you did it the usual way, and did it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, but, um, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, yeah, and then, she just made pozole there. Right, sure. That would have been better. And then just all day, I'd just been shitting and running to the restroom, and then finally last night. I was with my girlfriend and her family. They all fell asleep, and I was like, man, I got to go shit again. So I was there shitting. You told her that? Well, she was asleep, and I was like, I'm going to just go to the restroom. And then I'm shitting, and then I feel something. And I'm like, what's going on, you know? And in her restroom, the mirror, it probably goes down to like... Oh, no, you got a hemorrhoid? Is that where this is going? (laughs) Yeah, I looked down and there was a little 
something popping out of my <laughs> chimney. <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh, man, you're too young to have a hemorrhoid. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, there was like a little... And then I went home and popped it back in. What? Oh, man. I mean, for real? Oh, that's what you were telling me about last night? You're like, dude, I can't wait to tell you about this present you I got. pushed it? And oh. And then I kind of just went back in, and then in the morning, yeah, it's fine. What? Man, oh. but I was shitting all day, and then I was shitting, like, a lot, and then that's why I was like, well, like, I felt like a little... Man, how is everyone getting hemorrhoids all of a sudden? Yeah, I've never had one in my age. entire life. I don't think I have, at I least. I think it was one. I mean, I saw something. And it felt, like, uncomfortable. I was like, oh, man. But it was after, like, a mean shit. A lot of... Pu- are you pushing too hard? <laughs> well, man, everything was just fucking... Yes, if you're pushing... I mean, I think a hemorrhoid comes from pushing too hard. Like, you're constipated. If you have diarrhea, I don't think you'll get a hemorrhoid. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It wasn't just like a piece of poop that you just put back in? No, yeah, it wasn't. It was like skin or whatever. You didn't ask your girlfriend to check it out? But it, it wasn't out. big. It was like a little... And I kind of just like... Never saw it again. <laughs> never saw it again. You miss it? A Christmas hemorrhoid? A it Christ- was like a little Christmas like... Christmas hemorrhoid. Yeah, it tripped me out. I was like, oh, shit. So, like, if you see the hemorrhoid and he pops his head back in, does that mean we have six more weeks of winter? <laughs> How does that work? He sees the shadow and goes back in. No, yeah, Uncle Hemi visited me for oh, Christmas. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a trip. Felt like I was at Bono's house. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had one. Nice. nice. I mean, you need sir. to clean up your diet. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a bunch of tamales. Hydrated, nigga? No, he's hydrated. You oh, less water? coffee. You drink too much oh. coffee. Yeah, you always, every time you make a coffee, you always make some giant thing. <laughs> nice. Right, how, many, how many sugar cubes have you had this week with all your coffee? <laughs> A little bit. So if you just sh- you save those cubes and you put them directly on your hemorrhoid. <laughs> you oh, sugar, right? Sugar. A good sugar. Go sit <laughs> sit on the sugar at the... A pound yeah, of instead sh- of drinking all this coffee, just <laughs> dip your ass in it and just keep your ass in, it Damn, in there for a while. Just dip my ass in it. Damn, I hemorrhoid. Yeah, I was nuts. Yeah, like I don't ever have diarrhea more than like a day or two. And I mean, I hardly... No, yeah, I don't know if it was like the pozole that fucked me up or it was something I had the night before. I was just kicking the walking. Our first oh, guest. <clears throat> How's it going? Uh, you know, we are, but we're not open yet. We open up at 12 o'clock. Yeah, so like once, uh, after like 12, 12, 15, we'll have more artists coming in and then we'll have... Yeah, I can't schedule an appointment. I'm schedule an appointment right now. For what, uh, for what time? Yeah, you want to come back at yeah, come back at twelve thirty, and I'll, I'll have somebody. Somebody will be available. For a tattoo? Yes. For today? Um, if it's possible, it's fine. With Alex, I don't know if he's available. Oh yeah, Alex is still out of town. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let me give you a number and I'll leave it. I'll leave it for him and we can back in town. Yeah, we're just putting all the numbers for him right there. Okay. And then he'll call you and get stuff. You ever have a hemorrhoid? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Stephanie? Stephanie. <laughs> Tell us about it. Tell us about it. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he should be back. I don't know when he'll be back, but soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Jeez, but yeah, I didn't know if it was like a chapped ass or something. 
Man, and then the fucking... I just got the bill for my hospital visit. That was yeah, crazy. man, you're t- that was another one. Oh, that one was well weird. That sucks. Man, guess... I was tattooing, and then he's comes up to me like, Oh, Dad, can I talk to you outside? And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I need to all, talk to you. It felt all serious, like, what the fuck? And then go outside, and he's like, I'm you know, pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> No, I felt like even if he was pregnant or he got somebody pregnant, he would have told me right there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's more serious in pregnancy. And he's like, oh, in jiu-jitsu, we're doing this. Uh, you know, I guess the drills, the guy on the bottom is trying to keep his legs around you. And the guy coming in is trying to get through the legs, like to pass his guard. And it's like a knee slice. <clears throat> so he said the guy kept knee slicing him, but kept hitting his balls. Oh. So then I was like, oh, and my balls feel weird. So then I'm like, oh, man, oh, that's fucking man. horrible. Do you hate when your bottom oh, hurts your balls? Dude, it was oh. horrible. So at jujitsu that night, I didn't really feel anything. Is that what they call it nowadays, jujitsu? <laughs> jujitsu, yeah. <laughs> my balls just kept getting racked and racked. And then... Um, that night I was playing video games and just sitting down like it felt so weird like like uncomfortable like I almost felt like I had to like you know how like when you gotta like unstick your balls from your underwear but I was doing that and I was like oh man like it still feels so weird and then I even like went to my room like took off my underwear and went like commando and then I was like oh man like I'm not even wearing any underwear and I still feel uncomfortable so then I took off everything like painful or just felt weird like it just felt like uncomfortable like tight Almost like just uncomfortable. Man, you're having all these issues like in this right. area. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not this an area to be having issues. Just in, getting right? ran through all your uh, <laughs> running my shit to the ground. <clears throat> no, but and then that morning or, or that night, I kind of slept a little uncomfortable. And then that morning, I didn't really feel anything. Then I got tattooed. So then I felt like that kind of like distracted me from like just a little uncomfortableness and my balls like you know that needle fucking and then that night i played video games again and yeah even my leg being all sore wasn't enough to distract me from my balls it was all comfortable again oh so then it was that morning that was when i was like hey oh and i went to walmart to get something for him and i was just in the parking lot and i was like man like something's wrong you know and then like i started looking it up and it said like if you feel any discomfort, go to the hospital. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, it was all serious. And this is like, if you feel, like, any pain after an hour of whatever it's caused like it. days. Yeah, and it's like, this is, like, serious. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like, and then I started getting in my head, like, go to the hospital. Oh, I would have like, freaked out, gonna too. Lose a nut. But then, like, my first reaction was, like, that's why I asked him. I said, at any time during class. Was there like a really strong hit that made you like, oh, like I, I can't, you know, like in the UFC, sometimes they get kicked in the balls. <laughs> sometimes they get kicked in the balls and, you know, they can't fight for like five minutes. So I was asking him, like, did, was there, and he's like, no, it was never like us. So yeah, I was like, like, that's a kind of. constant ones. Like, <clears throat> man, just a lot of pressure and a lot of rough horse play in that area. <laughs> rough horse play. <laughs> Knee slices. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. Yeah. So then <laughs> I'm tattooing because I told him I said, "Yeah, go to the emergency room." And so I show up at the emergency room, and there's like the longest line. Yeah, this guy's really just banging that girl on the wall outside. <laughs> right, it's it's eleven in the morning. <laughs> Get a room. There you go. I don't think they're going to stop. <laughs> yeah, continue. <laughs> oh, yeah. He just finished. On her. No. Um, it's a big yeah. age gap, too. <laughs> <laughs> good, on, good on her, I guess. Right. No, but yeah, I'm in the line, and it's taking forever, and I'm like, man, I'm losing a nut here. <laughs> you guys are wasting time, and there was like a little, like... <laughs> Almost like the same shit. It's the same shit. Like when you show up to McDonald's and they go to the menu or to the cashier and they're like, uh, there's a little thing that says scan a sign in and then they get to the door and then they're like, oh, we have to sign in. Like, ah, oh, like, damn, round two.
<laughs> How, she's probably like 80, huh? <laughs> How old do you think that kid is? He, he looks like 17, right? Or he looks... He can't give it to her that hard. She's going to die. He's going to give her a hemorrhoid. Right. I mean, she's taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And now this time she finished. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I get a room and I'm in there and then these this one guy comes and asks what's happened. But he doesn't do anything. And then another old white man comes in and he asks again, well, what man, happened? And then I'm tattooing and then I start feeling sick. Like, oh, Did man. you hear about that? Yeah, and then an old yeah, white man intense. came Even in. now, like. And he asks what happened. I tell him, and then he says, "Okay, drop your trousers." <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bending over, son? No, no, no. no. Drop your so, trousers. I drop my trousers, but like I just—it's my balls, you know. So I'm holding my dick, and then he and he tells me, "You can let it hang, son." <laughs> <laughs> Does he really say that? <laughs> <laughs> Let it hang in all its glory. <clears throat> right? <laughs> it's alright, son. <laughs> it's alright, sport. Just let it, sport. let it hang, sport. <laughs> right? You could say sport because you got it hurt doing sports, yeah, right? right? <laughs> okay, sport. Let, let it hang. And, uh, and he, I was, he, be, he, he wasn't like, good hang there. <laughs> Some good hang. <laughs> I was, <laughs> they got a good hang in uh, room 17. <laughs> right, nurse? Isn't that some good hang? It's great hang, doctor, yes. Good hang. I was telling him, like, I was like, are you sure? Like, you're not going to have to be. <laughs> He's trying to look for my balls. He's all. Let it hang. <laughs> Holy shit. And what did he say? He, throw, oh hey, God. just throw it over your shoulder, pop, sir. <laughs> <laughs> or on his shoulder, throw it on his shoulder. <laughs> How would I just dangle it over your shoulder, Gram Gramps? <laughs> Gramps. <laughs> Pops. Yeah, you can just let it hang. Yeah. <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, that's the problem. You got too much weight. <laughs> <laughs> Your weight distribution's all off. <laughs> You're all cock and no balls, right? <laughs> it looks like a... So, I think it's party in the back, <laughs> business in the front. <laughs> Banana like, with some grapes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so then that See, I have the opposite problem. <laughs> it's all balls and no cock. I'll just pee down my balls all day. All, Sucks. All balls, no hang. <laughs> all balls, no hang. Exactly. Oh, it's a slide to the toilet bowl for yeah, your pee. Exactly. So yeah, Noah says he let it hang, and then the guy left, and he from the hall he heard him say, "God damn!" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Oh, excuse me, son." <laughs> God <I'll> damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> He'd hit you with a holy moly. <laughs> oh, fuck. He did that. <laughs> he did, he did, after he tells you to let it hang, he didn't give you a good look and go, all right, the doctor will be in a couple of minutes. <laughs> the doctor will be right in with you and just walks out, gets into his car and leaves. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Man, I love how you always get yourself in these situations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I was going to tell him he takes off the mask and it was really the Chinese guy from the bar. Oh. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> you got the job. Yes, and then that happened and then... You can let it hang. He filled me up. I would feel so uncomfortable if my doctor told me yeah, I can let it hang. Son. Son. You can let it hang, son. Yeah, the like most white guy you can think of. Just, yeah, let it hang, son. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen plenty of dicks. He's oh, nothing yeah, new see. here. Nothing new. You didn't say, yeah, I just don't want it hitting the floor. It looks, <laughs> a, little <laughs> looks a little cold down there. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how sanitized these floors are. Yeah, and so there was that, and then I proceeded to get an ultrasound of my balls. <coughs> <and then. clears throat> but I came in about that time. 
So I show up having a hard time. Oh, yeah, because you left from here. Yeah, because you left and you were like, yeah, I'm going to go with Noah. And I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. Little did I know just the kind of turmoil your life was in at the moment. Oh, man, it was so funny. When, when I was here, like, I, I was all nervous. And then I told him, he was like, yeah, just go. So then, like, I got my stuff and I was leaving. And you guys were like, what? Like, you just got here? Like, where are you going? And I was like, oh, I got to go. And they're like, oh, okay. And then Brave's like, oh, you just got here. Where are you going? And I was like, I, I got to go. I just got to go. <coughs> and he was like, enough said. Damn, <laughs> you. He knew. So I'm in the waiting area to wait and come in, and I see all the nurses, and they're all like. (laughs) 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 Oh, fuck. So what was the, the diagnosis? Yeah, it was just like a bruising of the balls or something. Oh, it's even funnier because then I'm in, I'm with him waiting in the room, <laughs> and then he tells me he needs a, uh, not an X-ray, an, an ultrasound. ultrasound. Yeah, yeah, that's what the guy told me. He's like, was oh. it like those ones where like it's like the pregnant ladies and yeah. they put like that the they, jelly? Like they loop your balls yes. and start like really? <clears throat> I'll tell you. Nice. And then, yeah, the guy tells me he's like, I'm gonna order an ultrasound for you. The ultrasound guy will be here in a little bit, and that's when he was there. And yeah, the curtain opens and it's the most flamboyant, flamboyant male. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm in good hands. If anyone can handle some hang. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah. yeah, exactly. No, yeah. So then I go. I do probably could have just like put two fingers under and just diagnosed you himself. Huh? Like, <laughs> You're good. Oh yeah. You're good. <laughs> No, yeah, so he took me to a room, and oh, man, that was a funny process, too. I got naked. I put... <laughs> you got fully oh. naked so you could measure your height and <laughs> weight? No, yeah, I got naked. Well, just naked. From, I took my pants off, and then I put a towel around, and then I laid down on a bed, and then he put a towel... <laughs> <laughs> on himself? <laughs> over your eyes. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to see this, son. <laughs> No, he put like a towel from here to like maybe like the bottom of my chest. And then he took down this towel. So it was just like towel, skin towel. <laughs> and yeah, he, and then he proceeded to lube up my balls and like, put the machine. And you're lying down? Yeah, I'm <laughs> And your yeah, I'm lying is d- resting on your, huh? your shoulder? Like it's just, <laughs> just hanging <laughs> over my shoulder. <laughs> Wait, so there's more, there's more. <laughs> Man, and it's funny too, like I didn't know what to expect and then I'm just like looking up at the ceiling <laughs> and then I just you feel just picture you like, <laughs> you just thinking, on fucking you? Omar need me in the balls <laughs> son of a bitch. Why the fuck do I do jujitsu, man? <laughs> <laughs> Your balls massage. No, and then the first thing I so feel is awesome. just a wet, like on my balls. <laughs> And like I felt like I was gonna look. And then you feel teeth? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and then you hear the cap open for the loop <laughs> after the wind. <laughs> no, yeah, I felt like I was gonna look down and see this, like. Oh. The <laughs> Just the top of his head. <laughs> the top of his head. Oh, man. No, yeah, so then he does my balls, and then after he does my balls, he, he moves asks, up to the shaft. No, yeah, and then he asks, may I move the shaft? That's what he told me. He says shaft? <laughs> That's so Is that the medical term? He's like, maybe with the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of ease. There's a lot of ease on that. <laughs> maybe with the shaft. <laughs> the shaft. That's good. Is that, the, is that the medical term? Like, I think That's so. what the doctor calls it? A sh- your shaft? <laughs> and the longer he carries the A shaft. is the longer <laughs> Is that why you told me I need to move your shaft? Your sh- <laughs> shoot. <laughs> it's just an S. It's just an move your shift. Oh, that's Fuck. funny. Fuck. Nice. Yeah, that's, why they, that's how they communicate with each other. Because he probably walked in to all the nurses and said, there's a shaft that needs... And that guy was like... (laughs) Where's Julio? (laughs) Oh, my God. That's so awesome. (laughs) All right, so he moves your shaft. 
and then he does my shaft. <laughs> he <laughs> moved it. Can I move your shaft? <laughs> I would have said no, no. You're not touching my shaft. <laughs> People pay big bucks for that. <laughs> Can I move your shaft? <laughs> I should have done that. I can't believe it. I should have <laughs> medical professional asked you. The, the the said, can I move your shaft up and down? <laughs> up and down. <laughs> up and down. <laughs> no, you gotta give him the classic. Well, if he can hold that much, <laughs> oh, fuck. can carry that much. So he just kind of like shifted it to one side, <laughs> well, from no, one shoulder was... to the other. Or what did he do? Well, no, it was like hanging up because like he was doing my balls. Like, it wasn't like it was in the way, you know? So there was so, no need to move it, huh? Well, and then he started and he needed to, like, go around it. So he got it and... <laughs> Wait, what? I think, he, I think he put it down. I think that's what <laughs> so happened. So he started, like, massaging you with the fucking... Well, with the little... It almost looked like a deodorant thing. And it had, like, the gel at the end. And then, like, he just, like, moved it, like, across, like... <laughs> but, like, it's down. My shaft's paint pointing down and he's... <laughs> he didn't like stretch the skin out all the way and then start. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he just kind of just gave me an ultrasound. You didn't tell him. You know your way around a shaft there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then um, man, I was still all nervous because I still felt all like discomfort. But he was like, <laughs> "I've seen a shaft, and you're good." <laughs> no, he was like, you're "Oh, good. like I I, I can good. see the picture, but." You're not supposed to like listen to me because I'm not the referred like psychiatrist or whatever. <laughs> don't, <laughs> like, don't listen to me, but nice. <laughs> but nice. <laughs> but that looks yummy. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm not but. your doctor, but in my professional medical diagnosis, yummy. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum. Goo, goo, gaga. <laughs> No, and he was like, no, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> Your balls look torn as shit, <laughs> but it looks good. <laughs> oh, Man, guess guess how much my bill was for an ultrasound on my cock. For getting fucking massa- and, ball massage? Yeah, and then the for the doctor to play around with. Oh, it's probably a lot. Ballpark, how much? I, I After ju- insurance. Yeah, I just got the bill right now. Oh, after insurance. Oh, man. I don't know. 500 bucks. More. More? 800. 2,000. Really? After? Really? Jesus I think they charge by inch. (laughs) Oh, that's the problem. (laughs) That's why I save so much with my doctor. Right, that's why yours is 500. Yes. Damn, that's so brutal. Yeah, I got a bill last time too. I forgot for what. It was like a thousand dollars, and it was for nothing. You paid it off? <laughs> no, I never. I have So green pozole. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So crazy. then I'm in there with the room with him, and then uh, yeah, they're waiting for uh, the doctor to see the. Yeah, and he comes in. He's yeah. He said they look good. He's like, yeah, there's nothing. Man, because what I looked up, it was like um, torsion. Yeah, testicular torsion, <clears throat> something like that. And I guess it's like, when like where it twists around itself or something. Yeah. Man, I've had like a, sometimes I'll get this pain, and it almost feels like that's happening. It feels like it's twisting around, but like nothing's ever happened. But I've gotten like a weird pain before where I thought like, oh man, I'm gonna have to go get. My shaft fucking checked out. Gotta, gotta go drop my trousers. I'm never had to actually go. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, and then it, it sucked too, because then like the next day, it kind of like felt better, and then it just kept getting better. Even that night, my friend came in, and she was a nurse. And I was telling her, and then she's like, oh, oh I, but she said if it was torsion, he'd be in bad pain. Yeah, but, that's what, that's what the, the guy told me too. He was like, "Oh man, if you're if it was that, like you wouldn't, it would be unbearable." Because you said you, you weren't in pain, you just kind of felt a little bit weird, like yeah, off. like uncomfortable, and it, was, it felt like tight. Like That's just weird. try and think of like something like yeah, maybe tight. just like a little bit inflamed, like yeah, right, maybe yeah, because the guy said a little you could bit, even it ice it. Nice. Yeah, I think it was just like bruising of the balls. Or... Oh man, but I was all <laughs> fucking nervous and scared. And then that was the week your your girlfriend came into town. 
what a bad yeah, week Yeah, and then to this, have this guy, the doctor comes in and he's like, so no sexual activity, huh? <laughs> and you <laughs> and your nurse were like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn. <coughs> Him and the other guy. Damn. Rats. Rats. No, yeah, because I'm like, yeah, you stay off the mat, no rolling around. <coughs> stay off yeah. the sheets. Yeah, I would say, yeah, no sexual activity, right? You don't want to. You want them to get better. They got better. <clears throat> Damn, just waiting one day. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Would you risk the one more day? I don't know what I would have done. Because I, I was asking, is it slowly getting better? Is it getting worse? Because if you can say like, oh, every day is getting better, then I, I might say. <coughs> just wait but then, yeah, I wouldn't want to give the wrong advice for that. But yeah, that day when I came here, like, yeah, it still felt like the same it felt. So I was like, oh, man, like it's still not going away. Yeah, I mean, like, how, like we talk about intuition. You know, one of the things I read about intuition is a person really knows their body and they know when something's off. And a lot of people ignore it and it ends up being... So I'm like, yeah, if your body's telling, telling you that, you know, something's not normal and, you know, yeah, you know, listen to your body. Yeah, for sure. Don't listen to Google. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to... Then you Google one little thing and it always goes back to like pancreatic cancer. Like, oh, fuck, here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's how I felt like when I was looking it up. Like, right away, I was like, any discomfort in your balls, like, take that so serious. Like, that's crazy. It's so uncommon for you to have any kind of discomfort. And I was like, oh, man. Yeah, I've never had a. Like, I've never had. I, I, mean, I can say I've never had a ball injury or a butthole injury. <laughs> In any not way, yet. shape, or form, not yet. I don't think I have. I don't think. I've gotten hit in the balls <laughs> hard. Like, hard. Like, I've been, like, when I used to spar, I've been kicked hard. I remember one time I got kneed in school. Like, to where I was in tears. I was on the floor. I couldn't walk. That was hard. I never had any issues from those hits. You know, other than the fact that I may be sterile. <laughs> you know, the jury's out on that one. You think you're sterile? Maybe. Remember when I was in high school, I needed to get a physical for the swim team. And I went to a local little, uh, it was like a little doctor office. And, you know, he's doing everything and then he tells me, all right, uh, get Nothing. naked, get naked and I'll come back. And he leaves. So I'm there and I'm just naked. And then all of a sudden, like the nurse, like a younger, she looked like she was like maybe, like she just graduated. <laughs> So she probably was like 19, 20. And she just walks in and I'm just there naked like, oh, what? Like, and she's like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> May I touch the chef? May I move the chef? The chef. That was kind of embarrassing, but. You weren't all like proud. <laughs> yeah, the trick. All this? <laughs> the trick for that was um, getting your physical done at the nurse's office uh, at school. So they don't play with your dingling. They don't check. They don't make it. Really? Yeah, because they have to grab yeah, them and make to, you don't cough. They? You said he even did that to you there. No, didn't he hold him and had you cough? No, yeah, that was the thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you go anywhere else, that's how they do the physical. But I guess just at school, they're not allowed to do that. But they're offering it there. So that, they did everything else except that. Yeah, but they, you would but if you wanted, would... you can get that done? <laughs> right, if I want some handling done? I don't know. I, I thought you said they... How that works. I'm saying, like, they, they brought someone to the school to do it. I think it was, like, during, like, one of the classes or something. Like, all the people who signed up for the physicals go now. And, yeah, it was just, like, in the library. They took your weight, your height, and maybe, like, a blood pressure thing or something like that. And that was it. Hmm. But I remember, like, that week it was, like, oh, like, sign up for this so you don't have to get your balls checked. And I was, like, oh, okay, okay. But I don't think you want to get your balls checked, right? Was it like a hernia? Is that what that's shaking for? I think so. Right, they hold your balls and you cough, and I don't know what I don't know what they're supposed to feel. Right, isn't a hernia? What's a hernia? Like a tear in your muscle? How the fuck is the ball? Are you <coughs> cupping yeah, I don't know. My or balls yeah, I don't know what that does. <coughs> it's just a sick joke they play, huh? All right, cough. Imagine they're teaching somebody. So they must have two people there. One has it, one doesn't, and they're like, cough? That's what it's supposed to feel like, and then... 
the guy that has it, right? Because you have to learn on s- on someone, right? I mean, how you gotta feel for you it. Hmm. But how would you feel if you're the guy that had to fuck the balls just? Oh, unless you have fucked up balls and like that, then that's like the silver lining is you can get a job at the doctor's office as like a, a, a test. tester. Right. Oh, oh okay. right. Go around all these little. Man, and, and that thing that they're testing for, is that treatable? <clears throat> or? Well, yeah, I think it'll keep you out of the military. <clears throat> what? Uh-huh. Whatever that, whatever that. Is it a hernia? That's what I thought, a hernia? <clears throat> Was it a hernia? You have to get surgery, I think, right? If it's, or maybe it heals on its own if it's not bad enough. No, okay, maybe. Damn, so it keeps you out of sports in the military? I think it keeps you out of the military. That's crazy. But I don't know what it, exactly <coughs> it is or what they're looking for. <coughs> We think they're just trying the size, and they just tell you to make it make you cough so that they, to throw you off. Yeah, so to think like you're they're checking for something, but they're really just <laughs> too small, right? They haven't dropped yet, right? Because like there's obviously studies that show like all oh, the average male ball size. I'm sure you could look that up. So it's like, where are they getting this information from? They must be filling. I've never been asked. Hey, how big are your balls? You know, for science. But I have like had to drop my pants and cough for stuff. So. Yeah, and I think the cough was just throwing you off. Like, well, tell me to cough. So so my cough sick. and my balls are related, right? Because right, I think I've even gone home and like cough. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what's going on? I don't feel anything. <laughs> hmm. And what do they tell girls, right? <laughs> I stick a finger in and cough. Or what, yeah, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, it's weird on like a girl's physical they must be checking the vagina somehow or the boob alright cough all right, cough. Oh, it <laughs> all right. <laughs> cough <laughs> right N- <and> nice <laughs> they feel or they always tell the girls feel for lumps do guys have to feel for lumps I, I think have, they say you're I supposed to I have breast to. tissue alright yeah I think guys can right <clears throat> it's probably just so much higher percentage in a female this guy is always chipping me out with your your little thing. We, we don't talk about that. No, I coughed and they said it's good. <laughs> I coughed. They said it's good. So that's all I that matters. <clears throat> Cough. Yeah, even when I was getting my balls um. Doing the x ray, I was or he was doing the ultrasound, and then he would do it. And then he's like, Okay, I need you to I forgot what he was calling it, but almost like when you got to poop, but like you like, squeeze down, push, pressure. contract your stomach, something like that. And he was like, Okay, dude, he was calling it something like shinning, or and then something. he asked, him, And I need you to do the why, <laughs> 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 all right, I'll do the running man. <laughs> Kegels. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the things you get yourself into. I know. It's not long until they're gonna be checking your prostate because you did something, you pulled oh. a muscle doing something. And I have this weird feeling inside your butt that you can't get rid of. <laughs> Find a condom in there. What's going on? What the fuck? So it looks like Santa visited the Gutierrez house, right? He did. It's pretty great. <laughs> and he left me, um, you know, not, nothing butthole related, but pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I got something. I got something I've been asking for, or I've been not asking for, but I've been wanting like all year. And I guess my Santa overheard me and hooked me up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sit down. Room, room for one more. Room for one more. <laughs> Damn. Hey, man, I've had a rough night. <laughs> What'd you get? I got um, a matching pair of <laughs> little shorts from my. I got, I got an iPad. <coughs> we wanted one for a while. I was gonna start saving up this year to get one. Santa liked the cookies and milk I left him. Yeah, yeah I bet they're fun. A chat GPT to your. Ah, I should. <laughs> Maybe I can get it to actually 
you know, answer the phone, <laughs> stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, porn's gonna. I got that, and then for my birthday not too long ago, I got Air AirPods. So man, my porn has been out of this world lately. Oh, nice. In the whole. <clears throat> yeah, he's an iPad kid now. He's gonna have his <clears throat> two AirPods, iPad. Exactly. This hot pockets in Mountain Dew. Hot pockets. Mountain Dew. Oh man, and it's funny because like. I mean, you get, I always say it at the shop, but like, I, I'm, I really like Windows and Microsoft, so I'm always shitting on Apple, especially like the computers and all the time. <clears throat> but man, I love the iPad and the iPhone and the AirPods, like I love them. Yeah, I think they're winning on that end, but then like the computers for sure, I think PC wins. I know people even say that like Android phones and, other, and stuff like that are better. And they have they've had they've had features that the iPhones are barely getting and stuff. But man, I've tried using them and I just yeah, I'm just so used to the iPhone and like the iPad and stuff. That yeah, I, I, I feel would, weird not using them. I would think for the average phone, you know, for the average stuff you need it for, I think the iPad and the i the i Apple products like <clears throat> more user friendly. Yeah, more user friendly and because <clears throat> yeah, the people that tell me that Androids are better were using it to like jailbreak and jailbreak and download like you you know what i mean like stream stuff illegally and you know and you can do the same with the computer because i remember having a computer where you can uh yeah illegally download uh movies and music what was that called the torrent sites or yeah that? you could torrent stuff or like limewire <clears throat> limewire like all that was really big pirate.com pirate bay but it was always giving the computer uh, viruses and where <coughs> Apple you know somebody complaining like oh Apple you've got to pay for everything <coughs> but yeah I mean we've had this computer here and I've never had to get it checked for viruses or you've never you know what I mean and yeah I'll, I'll take that any day yeah I'm, I'm a big PC guy but I remember in one of my classes for high school it was all a bunch of iMacs or like the the towers and oh man they run smooth like, I guess if you just get like the most expense and then that's the thing too like like something that's a hundred or a thousand dollars in a pc you would probably get that out of like a two thousand dollar apple yeah, exactly. computer it's overpriced. so the apple's more pricey yeah yeah you're kind of paying for like the name <clears throat> and then which it's weird too because um yeah like on pcs you can just upgrade them like you could say like oh it's starting to get out of date let me just open it up and Add more RAM or change a new, put a newer CPU. You can't do that on Apple products. If I'm not mistaken, I think they welded like the parts together, so you Damn. can't take off the fucking RAM or you can't do that. Or... So yeah, once that computer is like out of date, it's out of date. There's nothing you could do about it. Just upgrade. And yeah, like uh, they make you, but yeah, they make you buy another one. No, they like upgrade yeah. to like a. Yeah, that's probably how they trap you. Yeah, Apple's kind of fucked up. Like how they have their own charger and yeah that. it's exactly it, it's very proprietary you have to use their stuff and they decide and they change it every couple of years and yeah i don't like that I even like, they switched like the usb now it, the other side's not even usb this now this is the it's third its time they feel like the third thing. or fourth time they switch it they used to have before <clears throat> um so now they have the lightning one they used to have the other ones the 16 pin Whatever the fuck, eight. the fat one. Yeah, there was, there was like a long one. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like all that's usually been different, but it's always usually to a USB that goes to a box. Yeah, now, now it's that to a USB C. Is it a USB C? Which I don't understand the point. For what? For the end of the cables, like like the lightning cables, for example. It's not like a the USB, box. The box you know. that you have is like a, it's like that you the random, like a smaller hole than a USB. The yeah, new it's, one? A, it's a USB C. Yeah, it's like the little oval. Yeah, and then even this is new. I just, I dropped mine for the, I had to get a new phone. And now, it, yeah, it's all. So now I've got a bunch of those old little chargers with the nice boxes. Can't even use. Yeah, I don't like that. For, uh, I mean. Well, for your iPad, right? Yeah, but the iPad already has one. Yeah, just extras, I guess. That's what kind of sucks. And I mean, man, I mean, I guess they do make a lot of money off that, but. I wonder if they lose customers because of that. But I mean, I guess they do keep them for a while. I mean, since I've had, 
iPads and iPhones, I've had the big charger. Remember the big one? Mm -hmm. And that thing was pretty secure. But yeah, I mean, it's huge. The phones had them too, huh? The iPad. Yeah, that was the original. That was the stick, the 16 pin ones, I think they're called. And then after that was the the one that you have, right? The Lightning. The Lightning. And then now it's what? Now it's USB C, I think. They changed it. And who uses USB C? Just them? No, I mean, just a lot of different. I think other phones use them, and just other electronic. You know, because the items. lightning was just Apple, huh? Yeah, that was like an Apple, like a that was the wrong thing. That big one was, but you're that saying the Apple USB C well. is what what plugs into the phone? Well, now it plugs into the phone, but like on this the, end, but before, yes, but before it used to plug in, like on my iPad, uh, it's lightning on one end, and the other end is a USB C, and you plug that into the oh, little box okay. to charge it, which so is fucking it's... annoying because I now I can't connect it to my computer. No, yeah, for sure. Because my computer doesn't have a USB C, and but that's even the Apple, the iMac, uh, they don't even have USB anymore. Like that's the so computer, yeah, the laptop, so but everything can be uh, airdropped and airdropped. Like. Yeah, but if like you if have you, a fucking yeah. Apple product, exactly. Like that's what I don't like about Apple. But I like airdrop. <laughs> Do you like airdrop? Airdrop's good. Yeah, but I can't airdrop stuff <clears> to <throat> my computer, for example. To... No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so like, let's say you have that one, and you have the because you don't have an Apple. No, because well, that's not an Apple. He has an Apple phone, but not yeah, an Apple. Yeah, exactly. So I can't airdrop stuff to my to a PC. It has to be to a, like a Mac. Yeah, it's like you're doing a. And then it'll even like um. Yeah, it's like driving a Chevy car, and you're trying to buy a Ford Motor. Yeah. <coughs> why not? <laughs> Let me. It's my car. God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, it, it'd be like oh, I'm gonna. I want to upgrade my something in the motor. You know, I want to get a better, <clears throat> I don't know. Flex capacitor. Flex capacitor, right? <laughs> so you open it up and you look and the flex capacitor is welded to the medulla oblongata. So now you can't change either one of them. Now you're stuck with that. Now one of them breaks, you're fucked. You can email stuff, right? You can email and open the email? Yeah, you could do that. Man, but even that's a little... And like... I could also write feather and quill and, you know, send a pigeon to go... Yeah, because I've been doing artwork with this guy online uh, prison pen pal prison pen pal and I'll draw on the procreate and I could send it to him through procreate and it'll be in the layers and everything so he can just continue where I'm at you know if there's something cool. we don't like like a like the rough sketch we can get rid of it but when I send it to him he opens it through a different program and it comes as so everything's just Merged. Oh yeah, exactly. And then he'll exactly. work on it, send it back to me, and then I get it. And yeah, it's merged, so I can't. So sometimes, the, yeah, the rough sketch <clears throat> is behind there. Which I mean, now I know when I send him something, I've got to send save all it the parts or, or whatever. So, yeah, save it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like um, I used to when I make music, I there's a use a computer. To, when I make music, I use something that's called a DAW. It's called a digital audio workstation. It's just a program that, like, yeah, you can load up samples, you can lo load up programs, VSTs. It'll give you like a, a like a you know a playlist to kind of put stuff down. You know, it's just like a, yeah, like a rough canvas to kind of start making music and stuff. And yeah, almost like you can think of it as like a procreate for, but like for music. And I used to collaborate with some other guy. Yeah, we would send each other like we'd work on a song, and I would send him the project, and he would send it back to me, and we'd do that. But it was cool because we both use that same program. Yeah. So, so it, it, I, he could open it up and it's, yeah, all the layers are there. But I, I would have to send him all the samples that I used and all the programs and the settings that I used in those programs so he can load that up. Yeah, exactly. Because then if he gets it, yeah, like... If he doesn't have the if program to open it, he can't really mess with it. Or, yeah, if he, or if he doesn't have all the same <clears throat> samples or, and everything, it'll just load it like like how, you, like how you're saying, like... Just with everything merged, like like I'm just I'm just sending him an audio clip rather than like a project oh, with okay, everything yeah, where I can start editing everything and it already has the cuts I made right there. You know what I mean? Like so. Yeah, so it's almost like if I'm sending somebody something on um, Procreate through Procreate, but I have a custom brush, I would end up I would need to send him my custom exactly. brush. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> or you have to send him like the the color you use so that your computer could open up the, can, and load that color onto the thing he used or whatever. And if he doesn't have it. It won't load it up. It'll just say error, like missing files or whatever. But yeah, but then if I'm working with someone on a Mac and they use a Mac, oh man, it's it's a fucking nightmare. The, the things aren't compatible. This, this, and that. And for some reason, a lot of a lot of um, 
producers and like DJs and stuff use MacBooks to make music. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but that's become like the kind of the standard. And a lot of the stuff isn't because it's good or no. Or wh- I mean, it's good. It's good for what it is, but like like, like what we're saying, you can. I don't. In my opinion, I think the MacBook is harder to learn. Like same I think thing it's with a Procreate. So many people have jumped to Procreate on the iPad, where the Wacom. Like this guy I'm sketching with, you know, the way he swears the way comes to bed, which it probably is. But as far as like just buying it and like me, remember I bought it. We, I was even drawing at Best Buy, remember? I was like, oh, I want to go check out this Procreate. Like the learning curve I is just there. like you just jump in and you can Yeah, start. I just got the pen. And yeah, it's just an app. More remember than... I had like a whole crowd around me and. <clears throat> uh, you're taking requests. And... <laughs> no. Nice. no, but yeah, and then for the Wacom. Yeah, you have to download the software. And you and need a computer. it. And yeah, you've you know it's like more tech. Okay, I could see. Uh, that makes sense. And you think that it's the same way or no? You know, yeah, I, I guess I can see that, like with like the music or with the computers or. Oh yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, I could see that because I can see someone buying like a real simple thing, like a beat pad thing that's like real simple. You just connect it and you, it opens up GarageBand and it's already ready to go. Kind of how we're doing with that thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you just set it up and it's ready to go. But yeah, like if you want like something really good. Yeah, it's like you have to download stuff and open up and tweak settings. And yeah, so I could see where the best, best stuff is not as user friendly. It's you got to be more tech savvy, maybe, to kind of. But but yeah, then, I think it's always like that. Like, even then, like with the PlayStation 2, like you could record just from the PlayStation and it's going to give you like whatever quality it gives you, but you could get like the game capture and then like a PC and hook that up and that'll like get it at the maximum render or whatever but yeah it's more tag you have a pc now you have to get that little yeah. game reader yeah, that's how i do it i use obs on my computer to record myself oh yeah playing. yeah i'm just saying for like a playstation it's hard like you would need to get like that elgato game capture or whatever and then stream it from yeah or even like recording the podcast like there's like little um like sets you could buy at the store that's like podcast ready you just hook it up and yeah it's real simple to work but I think yeah, you if you're get trying to better get better quality detail. by going yeah, into detail. Yeah, exactly. So the moral of the story is eat, eat fiber. Eat fiber. <laughs> keep your balls. Wear a cup. Because I don't wear a cup in jujitsu either. And I'm always getting my balls racked. I'm always getting them racked. Long balls over here. Long, always yeah, getting them racked. Man, I'll be, knee stepped s- on. I'll be knee slicing them right here. And he's like, ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm always getting my balls <laughs> Just slipping on them in the shower. <laughs> Stepping on them. Oh, wow. he stepped on my balls. But then, yeah, I guess a cup. Yeah, I guess a cup. You need a cup. Man, in in the years I did kickboxing, MMA, jiu-jitsu, I never wore a cup. I had one. And I even had like, <laughs> the compression shorts so you could put the cup in. And I bought them for that reason. Like, oh, comfort... Like no dirt, not all this. Stuff. I never used it. I <laughs> That's funny. At my karate, we were supposed to wear cups. Like at one point, he kind of like, like it's part of your cup check. No, it was what? so it was kind of like a part of your uniform. And that one time, he was like, "Okay, we're like everyone check your cups," and everyone does that. And I didn't have one. I just kind of did like, <laughs> like a. <laughs> and yeah, it passed. I would, I would wear. I always wear a cup when we do karate, yeah. like sparring. Yeah, smart. You should, should be. I never wore a cup. Yeah, I got hit in the balls plenty of times. Yeah, I could never find one big enough. <laughs> <laughs> but for wrestling or for jujitsu, yeah, I don't. I Man, don't, like, there's I'm one guy, than. one guy at jujitsu, and he wears like a steel fucking metal cup. And yeah, everyone's oh, yeah. always complaining. Like, if he has you, if he's on your back, like that shit's just driving into your. It's nuts, or it's pretty rough. But I mean, he's always like, "Oh, I gotta protect my family jewels." I'm, I get it yeah. now. If it's my balls or your back, I'm choosing my balls. But yeah, that thirty dollar metal cup would have saved me a two thousand dollar visit at the I've done that to people before and they're like, Are you wearing a metal cup? I'm like, Nope. <laughs> it's all me. <laughs> all, all me. hang. All hang. <laughs>